Hi, my name is Erica Quesada York. I am a certified nurse midwife with Professional Gynecological Services here in Brooklyn. I wanted to talk to you all today about vaginal discharge, when it's normal, when it's not normal, and when you should get it checked out and when you might want to get it treated. A lot of people think that anytime they have too much vaginal discharge that it might be a yeast infection, and yeast infection is certainly extremely, extremely common. Typically you'll know that you have a yeast infection because because you feel very itchy, sometimes a little bit irritated. That can be on the inside as well as on the outside. Yeast infections are very natural, normal. Some people are very predisposed to developing them more frequently than other people, and that's okay. They are not usually sexually transmitted. They're not a sign that you are doing anything wrong or incorrect, but they can be uncomfortable. And so we would like to go ahead and get those treated. Most people do have some yeast growing in their vagina at all times, but the immune system and the general ecosystem of healthy bacteria tend to keep the yeast under control. And when there is a change to that balance, that's when the yeast can kind of overgrow. So you'll tend to have, like I said, a lot of itching, some irritation. You might notice a very thick kind of discharge. It usually does not have a strong or unpleasant odor. You might just find sort of an increase in normal odor. Yeast infections can be treated with over-the-counter medications. You can go to the feminine care aisle of the pharmacy or supermarket and you can get something like Monistat, uh, which is generic myconazole. It's very effective at treating most yeast infections. You can get the kind that takes just one treatment versus a three-day treatment versus a seven day treatment. The one day treatment tends to be a very strong dose and the seven day treatment tends to be a lower dose but working over a longer period of time. If you try the one day dose and it doesn't do anything but you're pretty sure that it is a yeast infection, go back and try the seven day dose because you may just need that longer period of time. If you've tried both of those things and it's not helping then definitely please come in get checked out by your clinician. Maybe it is yeast that's just not responsive to that particular particular ingredient, that medication. Maybe there's something else going on. Maybe you could benefit from another treatment. Maybe you need some further testing. Another really, really, really common cause of problematic vaginal discharge is something called bacterial vaginosis. And similar to a yeast infection, this is often a problem of imbalance, that these bacteria that occur naturally tend to be kind of kept in line by healthy bacteria and by our immune systems, and then sometimes have the chance to overgrow and flourish. Bacterial vaginosis tends to be very uncomfortable. People don't really find a lot of itching, maybe some irritation, typically find that it's a very thin or watery discharge with a very strong odor. And that might smell like ammonia or bleach or kind of fishy, something that is not your usual typical odor. Your response to this might be, oh, I should deodorize my vagina and go to that feminine care aisle in the pharmacy and get some products that will take away the odor. That's only gonna make the problem worse. It might fix it for a day or two cosmetically, but it's just gonna make it come back worse and worse and worse. So rather than continuing to buy those products, please come in to see us because bacterial vaginosis is treatable, but there aren't any over-the-counter products that can do that. You need a prescription and you need an evaluation. For many people, the treatment is very successful. Unfortunately, there are some people who are prone to recurrent bouts of bacterial vaginosis or BV, and there are longer term treatment options. And so we, as your clinicians, are very happy to talk with you about what those options are. Do we want to try something preventative once a month? Do we want to try a long term treatment that might last several months, but might really knock the infection out for a long Long time, you do have some options and you're not alone. This is actually fairly common. You are more likely to develop bacterial vaginosis or BV or a yeast infection if you are pregnant. So definitely if you are pregnant, if you're getting prenatal care, bring up your discharge concerns when you go in for those prenatal appointments because again, we see this all the time. We're very happy to treat you so that you are feeling more comfortable. Some people worry about increase in vaginal discharge that turns out not to be from a problem. It's not from too much yeast. It's not from too much bacteria. It's not from a sexually transmitted infection. It's just that there's more discharge. Some of this is hormonal. Maybe you're taking kind of birth control that just causes an increase in your normal discharge, that's not a problem. It might be uncomfortable for you, um, in which case we're happy to 
talk about how you can manage that, but it doesn't mean that there is something wrong. Some people have an increase in their discharge just at different times uh, throughout the month, especially sort of halfway between finishing your period and starting the next period. That is very common. And some people have an increase in that vaginal discharge, again during pregnancy, again because of hormonal factors. An increase in normal discharge is not a cause for concern, but if it's something that's making you uncomfortable, please let us know. We want to help you work with that. And of course, if we're talking about any new change in vaginal discharge, especially if it's making you uncomfortable in any way, especially if there's any kind of physical discomfort or an odor or a strange color like maybe almost a greenish color we really would like you to get checked out for sexually transmitted infections gonorrhea chlamydia and trichomonas all will sometimes but not always have unusual vaginal discharge and these are things that again are treatable are very easily diagnosed but you would need to come in and get checked out bottom line don't be embarrassed we are extremely comfortable with talking about this with you. We've seen it all before, we've heard it all before, and we really wanna help you feel better. So make sure that you get anything checked out if you need to. We are happy to help you here at Professional Gynecological Services. So if this rings true for you, you can absolutely call and schedule your appointment here or schedule online. If this video was helpful, please share it with your friends, and I hope to see you soon. Bye.